Today, I'm gonna show you how to fix the background in your painting. I'm Jess Rice. I'm an art teacher and beginners are my specialty. Sometimes when I complete a painting, I look at it for a little bit longer and I see things in it that I'd like to change a little bit. Watercolors are really nice for that because you can go back in fairly easily and change things in your watercolor. If I look at this watercolor, I've been looking at it for uh, a while now, there's a couple areas in it that I want to change. It's mainly back here in the background. There's this shape here uh, that kind of goes around my tulip and this round shape right here at the tip. They're a little bit distracting, I think. I keep, my eye keeps getting drawn right to them and that's not really where I want to look. So I'm gonna come in a little bit darker with that and take all that out. I just wanna go a little bit darker around that tulip as well. Also, my painting is too much the same all the way through the background. So I wanna change this corner up a little bit, make it a little bit darker, especially up against my tulip. So to begin with, my tulip is completely dry. It's been dried off, it's warm to the touch. I'm, so I'm working wet paint onto dry paper. So to fix this area, I don't wanna lose any of that color underneath there. I just wanna go over the top of it a little bit and change it up. I'm gonna mix up a nice purple, a little bit of ultramarine, and a little bit of alizarin crimson. I just want to darken it up. Mainly I want to kind of do the complementary color of this yellow, and the complementary color of yellow is purple. So I just want to do a nice complementary color up against that tulip leaf right there, that tulip petal. Lots of pigment out here. My pigment's nice and rich. I've got lots of water in it. I've mixed up enough that I can do my whole area here. I'm not gonna have to go back in and remix color. I've got a big enough pool going. Really load my brush up. Cut right up next to your tulip petal. Make sure you have enough water in your brush. I'm gonna carry all the way around that. And a little bit down here. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm just gonna pull that color off a little bit. Try not to go back over what I just laid down. I don't wanna go back over that first layer. I'm gonna turn my page so I can have easier access to this side. Pull off that color. Keep pulling around your tulip until your edges are clear. One of the reasons I don't wanna go back and touch any of this because now that I've added water to this or made it wet, that first layer kind of lifts again and kind of starts reshuffling the pigment. If I just leave it alone, it'll all settle right back down where it was and you'll have nice color underneath all of this. If I went back and redid it, if I went over that again with my brush, I'd have a dead area there because I've mixed all those colors together again. It's one of the things with watercolors that you have to be a little bit careful with, but it's a good thing to learn right off the bat. Don't overwork your watercolors. Lay it, Lay the color down and then work, your, work it out to the edges until you're clear. If you don't like what you did here, if you want to make it even darker, I'd probably dry this corner off and then I'd come back and hit it one more time. I don't want to add color to it now because it'll, it'll start uh, reacting with that bottom layer and kind of mix all that color together again. And I'll kind of have a dead area here. So I'm gonna dry this all off and then I can hit this area again with a little darker color. So I've dried that all off now. My paper's all dry again. So now I've, I want to just darken this corner up just a little bit more. Got lots of my color mixed up here. I just grab a little bit more. Make sure I'm nice and rich. Let's start from this corner. and start feathering off that side. Again, I'm not going back over that original area that I painted. I think I wanna add just a little bit between here.
just to connect those all together. Now I can feather that out a little bit. I'm trying to get rid of those hard edges on the One area that can be a little bit tricky is when you cross an area, you want to make sure that the background is the same on both sides. So I want to make sure that I match that same color on the other side there. You want to make, make it look like the background is passing behind an object. I think I'm all the way down here to the bottom. Just to make sure I don't have a hard line on there anywhere. All right. I like this darker corner much better. It's not all the same all the way through here. It just reads a little bit better and it really punches my tulip up a little bit more. So that's how you'll fix a background by going just a little bit darker with it, working wet paint onto dry paper.